You ready? I'm ready. Good morning, everybody. And no, apple. I mistakenly said it was the beginning of May in a recent video when you were starting school and you got all upset, didn't you? Because you thought you missed a term out. September. Hello. Give daddy a kiss. No way. All right, do you want to go down? I could stay here all day, Dad. It's a lovely view. <laughs> right, go down. You're breaking my neck. <laughs> anyway. Right. Hey, he banged his head last night. He's got a lump now. Can I press it? Could I? I'd rather you didn't. Anyway. Uh, we're heading back to the marina slowly because we're booked in for blacking in a few days' time. But the boat or your bum? <laughs> Let's have a quiz, see who lowers the tone the most. <laughs> we haven't done any videoing since we left Market Dread. Well, actually, the, the last of the videoing was at the end of the Turley flight. Do you know what, though? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take things a different way. What's strange is, right, I'm wearing a shirt and jeans, and I don't look that bad, right? People are polite to me at locks. When I wear my scruff, I know this is going to sound... Well, yeah. The last couple of days, weather wasn't great. I, I was just wearing a crappy t-shirt and jogging bottoms. People were rude to me, and I think it, I think it's when you dress nice, people are nice to you. Oh, I'm showing my belly. No, your buttons undone, but I, I <laughs> Mr. Wobbly won't let me do it. So anyway, we, we've had quite an adventure. We've missed out videoing the the Audlin flight and the Adderley flight because it, it was living the dream weather, you know. Chucking it down with rain. And we so, nearly died. We nearly died. <laughs> As a lot of people know, there's a, a shelf on the shoppy, and we stayed on the 48 hour visitor moorings in Audland because we needed to go to the co op, even though when we got but there, also the shelves were empty. Quite a lot. <laughs> so we got the wheelbarrow wheels out and we were nicely secured. And two boats passed us at the same time, and they must have lifted us onto the ledge. And I was sitting having a cup of tea, thinking, water's supposed to be level. And I looked up at the cupboard at the end of the saloon, and it was just oh, a man. funny angle. Yeah. I said, oh my God. And you've all, you've all seen footage of when they launch a ship, and it comes sideways, and you think, how the hell did that stay upright? Well, we did one of them on miniature version. Yeah, because the, the, the back steel chain broke. We were tied on with chains, as we are today. And I heard this almighty twang, and it just actually snapped the chain. The weakest link. The weakest link. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. You can't do it. I had a dream about an eye operation last night. I thought you were going to say uh, you dreamt about Anne Robinson. Oh, well, I was having nightmares. So anyway, we're having a leisurely cruise. We're just outside. Well, that overwater marina. Yeah. To the other side of that bridge. And that boat, it's got two lovely people that we met. Yeah, we've had I a like nice them. time. I like their bicycle as well. So we, we, we're having a leisurely cruise, possibly to Bar Bridge. The sun is shining for now. Come with us. Think of the weather today, Tom. Do you know? Do, I, are you either going to say that or about me bloody breakfast? And and they can see the weather. The weather's nice. What else for my breakfast? A big black cloud. What do we always answer when you ask me about my breakfast? None of your. Yes. You need to wait that. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm annoyed. He's shaved his beard, and I can't do that as much now. Well, this is not poker pension a day anymore. Oh, poker pension a day. Well, what date is this? Is it's not. Ooh, arr, ooh, arr, is it, is it? No, I don't think it's international talk like a private day. Yeah, I mean, if anybody doubts me, look it up because that is an actual thing. No, John, I think most people know about International Do they? Like a Pirate Day. It was in an episode of, what do you call it? Thing with Jig. I don't watch what. Doc Martin. Doc Martin. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unusual. Well, not really, John. But where they're based in Pirates. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, There's a floating garden centre on the I always thought that Cornwall was like where all the pirates came from. In the UK. 
It's like where they ha Cornwall and Devon, where they ha hung out. No? I think you've been watching too much telly. Okay. Anyway, we're passing the beautiful, cool pilot. Busy some mornings. Yeah. I am. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'm ooh. just saying it's quite busy. Cows under a tree. They can't see, but I can see. What does that mean when you see cows under a tree? They're tired. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I mean. Oh, there's a big black cloud over Bill's mother's. Who's Bill's mother and what's she got to do with a big black cloud? Well, she usually lives over there. <laughs> there's a man there with a ladder at work. What's being a man with a ladder? Putting a ladder on his boat passes the window cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Check. I with someone, they said that Basil Bush doesn't say boom boom, and I said he did. Does not he? Boom boom. Well he did when I were a lad. Ooh. But they're all dead now. Anyway, Basil Bush, anyone my age, when we were at school, Basil Bush, I remember watching this crappy little TV at school, right? Tiny little thing it was. We're all in this little shoebox cupboard, watching the telly. And Basil Bush taught me something, and I can't remember what it was. I think, well, I think it might have been the, the, the timetable or something like that. Oh, he never did anything that exciting when I watched him. You know, no, what, you know when, when you watched crap. when you watched Basil Bush. Yeah. Who was the person with the hand up? His well, I wouldn't know, would I? I no idea. You know, the person who was with him. No, because it wasn't like that. He was uh, more on his own. Because it was Mr. Derek when I was a kid, Derek Derek Fowles. See that? He, he was. That he, gives, he, he was gives, the one I know, with the I was going to say that gives children such a wrong idea that someone would put the hand, up, you know. Well, I don't think it was Mr. Derek that put his hand. Up. I think somebody else was working the the bum the bum terrier features. Mr. Derek was just his sidekick. When I was growing up, who was that man that was in the closet or in a cupboard in BBC? Philip Schofield. Well, it, it, it was Philip. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't mean him. Andy Crane. No, and Ailey. Uh, Andy Peters. Andy Peters. Andy Peters. I can't fancy them. They're all uh, Well, you know... I didn't actually fancy listen, Andy Peters. Before. I used to fancy Andy Peters, and I'll tell you a true story, folks. I wrote to the BBC and said, could I have a signed photograph How of old Andy were you? Peters? For about 45. <laughs> what did he send you? A signed photograph of Ed the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was his sidekick. Hello. Right, so I wanted to you know what I was gonna say? No. Right. Well, that lovely gentleman that left all the lovely gates wide open. Oh, at Adderley. The one with we, a million dogs. And we'd done a long day and we moored at the bottom, uh, a beautiful mooring at the, the bottom rain. of the Adderley no. flight. And a boat came through and he, he, he asked us a really strange question, didn't he? he said, no, the question was, was how he approached the question was a bit weird. No, it was the question that okay. was weird. He, he said, have you got television? To which I assumed he meant, Signal. what's the reception like here? And I said, I don't know, we haven't put the telly on since we've moored up, but we're pretty high up. No, but he said, whatever, sure. do you ever get TV signal? Yeah, and then he said, no, I mean, how do you get television signal? I said, oh, well, that little aerial at the front. What about internet? So, yeah, we've got internet, we've got a boost so on might the outside. Just go further and further where you and this is as he's passing the boat. Then a bit later, the chap moored a bit in front of us noticed that the bot bottom gates were open. So I because it's five locks, isn't there? generously offered to hobble up with him. But by the time I got there, he closed the, the, this. I was on with you, but you were too quick for me. I was it, was he? He'd left all five bottom gates open, and he was heading towards the Ordland flight. So I don't know what happened there. Yeah. 
But then on the same, just before that happened, somebody did, this is another one for Boating David. Oh, here we go. Somebody came out the bottom lock at Adderley and went full on suies. And how on earth they got away with it, I'll never know, because the rudder was in the bywash and the bow was on the grass on the other side. <laughs> no, you know what it is? And I think we've got grumpy. But I will say, I'm... Well, I do expect to be able to get through the day no, without see, being I'm more dead. Grumpy. I'm more grumpy after a, a drink. And another weird thing, if any of the viewer know this... Hey, the sun's no quiet. quiet. My nose runs every time I eat a drink. And, and recently, my nose was running, so I had a tissue. And this do, one, do you know? I if you could just write some notes down for me, I'm sure Andrew Lloyd Webber would like to make a musical out of that. Why? Well, have you seen some of the material he's used for making musicals? Can I? Stephen Ward. Oh, sorry, go on. Right. <laughs> I was at a lock recently and it was a hot day. And I've just had something, so my nose is dripping and my head's sweating because it was a really hot day and I'm, I'm, out, I'm not really fit. And this woman said to me, she said them. Oh, oh, take over. Oh. Green lock number one. Uh, a bit of a delay. There was one boat in front of us, but Holly the day boat was causing chaos apparently. I mean, we've already seen them running around five minutes after they left um, over water, but they didn't know how to work a lock and then they suddenly find themselves with one here. So, hopefully. All the chaos should be gone by the time we go out the second lock. Trouble is, trouble is if you meet a day boat on its way out, you've got to be on your guard because at some point they're going to turn around and come back again. I'll never go to heaven. We've just missed a you've been frame moment. That higher boat behind. It's actually day six, which is worrying. They're taking it back tomorrow. But they've just gone full on sewage on that bywash. I, I said to them, they came out of this lock, the gates were open, I said, it doesn't get any easier than this, just gonna come straight out of this lock, straight into that one, because it's waiting for you. And then Tom said, have you seen what's happened behind you? Never had the camera going at the right time, never mind. Uh, we're not doing any more locks today. There's only one more lock between us and our marina, but that'll be tomorrow. So, relaxing cruise. <laughs> Tom's just given me a fun fact about swans. I didn't know they could do that. That one's just been pecking at his own bum, and I'm just impressed that his neck was so long it can reach. 
how do you even what, what? well she can reach hers <laughs> I hope for God's sake you can't reach yours <laughs> next This is another one of those buttock clenching stretches, isn't it? About, what, three quarters of a mile, twisty turny. We start, you know them words really rile me. Why do you keep saying it? Well, I'm, I'm now known by Vicky in Australia as Captain but, but, Butty Clench. But, butty Clench? But, buttock, I don't know. When you can Sorry. say the words. Then you can be called it. I'm genius, obviously. Um, so I've got a little boing, things like that. He just said he's a Daphne Hunt. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Anyway, we're just approaching the aqueduct. It's on a bend. We can't see anything coming, but we won't be able to see anything coming until we're on it. We won't be able to to see anything I'm oh. not going to finish what I was going to say I stopped myself alright yeah well we'll see you when we've yeah got over the other side we've done it ta da we've seen um, oh is that there's, there's a boat I better go there's a boat heading this way We're just passing Stafford, uh, Stafford, Nantwich Boat Club, and somebody's just come down and said, I was going to ask you where Nobhead is. So I lifted her up, but I think. So we lifted her up. Whenever I lift her up, I forget quite how. Um, Heavy she is. No, I was going to say how. Weak you are. How robust she is. <laughs> yes. No, I don't like no skinny girls. She, my ethel is practically perfect in every way. Yeah, she's just about three stone too heavy. No, she's not, she's perfect. <laughs> Anyway, um, another fan of hers. Well, oh, he was painting that exact same spot when we went out. Oh, boat coming, boat coming. Boat coming, boat, boat coming. coming. But weather. Eccles. We three queens of, yeah, okay. We're not quite there yet, but we're almost at Bar Bridge, where we're hoping there'll be a mooring. I, I'm in a good mood though. Yeah. Not been so, bad, been all right. We, we, shall we sign off? We're gonna sign off for the day, and I leave you with this important information. I second that.